So if you were familiar with former versions of Headway, the 2.0 versions of Headway, you know that it was relatively easy to add uh, links into your footer area. A lot of people require links on their website that perhaps have a privacy policy or a reprint policy or um, links to disclaimers. So a lot of people need to put those additional links into their footer area. It used to be in, her, in the old version of Headway that there was an easy hooks area where you could actually go in, choose in the footer where you wanted to put those links and just insert them with a little bit of of uh, adding your text and links and code um, simple HTML code that's not available in Headway 3.0 at least not yet um, because Headway 3.0 is focusing more on building child themes uh, that draw off from the main Headway theme so Instead of easy hooks, what they suggest that you do is actually create a child theme um, and then add functions PHP, uh, add some custom PHP coding into that functions PHP file in your child theme. Well, for you know someone like me, I you know I can probably play around with that and actually get that accomplished. However, I know that not everyone um, wants to spend time or enjoys playing around with code the way that we geeks do. Um, and there is a workaround uh, for this in order to get links down there in the footer area. It doesn't end up right in that footer block. Um, what it is is it is we're going to the workaround requires you to create a navigation bar directly below the footer, but make it so that it looks like it all belongs together. And the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go create a custom menu for just your footer links. So you go to the, the WordPress dashboard and you go to the menus area and you're going to want to create a new menu and we can call it footer links. And then what you're going to want to do is make items and uh, add like your links. So you would put, say you had a page and it would be a disclaimer page dot com or whatever we're, we're just not going to worry about that but the label might be disclaimer that's what you want to appear on the bottom that's what you want to link so you'd add that to the menu and then you might have one that is privacy policy and you would put the actual <laughs> HTML, I mean the actual URL in here I'm just putting these fake ones in here for the sake of doing so but then you would label it privacy policy and you would continue to do this uh, with all of the links that you'd want to appear in there. Then once you've got them there, you're going to save that menu. So you're done here in the da in the WordPress dashboard for the moment. Now you're going to want to go back to the visual editor. And here in the grid section of the visual editor, you're going to come down below the footer and you're going to create a new navigation bar. So we're you can make it as big as you want, but I'm going to take it the whole length and I'm going to make it very very thin and then we're going to hit this options bar and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to um, in the orientation section we're going to align it over to the right instead so that it appears over here um, and we're going to hit save Once you've hit that save button, then you can go back to the menu area and you want to go back into it. You want to make sure that you go back into it or you refresh it or whatever needs to be done. And now you're going to see if there's another navigation block showing over here in theme locations. And so you're going to hit that drop down and you're just going to put that you want your footer links to show up in that one and hit save. And then when we go back to the visual editor and we show the preview and we go down, here you've got your home, your disclaimer, your privacy policy. There are your links that you need. And then you can just, as far as making it look like your footer, you can, you can just um, use the design options that you have underneath that footer block to change the look of it. If you wanted to make the font smaller, you could do that. But what about this home link? Well, 
if we want to fix that home link, we don't want that to appear in there, we can hide it and save it. And you, can, and you hide it just right underneath the uh, options in the grid. You hit that little options. Uh, it's some sort of three little lines with little dots on them. Um, I think it's supposed to look like an equalizer. But anyways, um, you go to that, you click on that, and then when that comes up, hit home link and you can actually just click this button and it disappears and it's and when we showed the preview now you can see that the home link isn't even there you've just got your disclaimer and your privacy policy